Hello guys, in this video I want to find the volume of the unit sphere and I'm going to use cylindrical coordinates. So, uh, for first step, if you want to find the volume of this unit sphere, we need to use triple integral. And what type of triple integral do we need to use? We need to say like that we want to find the triple integral over V, where V is our desired volume. And here we need to put some function dV. So before I'm going to begin this function, let's find, uh, let's graph actually my union sphere. So in my 3D coordinates, I will have this my x, y, z, and then my union sphere looks like this. So if I want to find, if I want to find the volume of the sphere, uh, my function must be one by definition. Uh, I can argue and explain in the future videos why this function should be one, but we need to use this formula if we want to find the following volume. Okay, so this is our setup for our problem. And then if you want to do step number two, what you want to do right now, we have this triple integral and we want to express this triple integral in some sort of coordinates. And we have three uh, choices of the coordinates. We have Cartesian, also, we have uh, cylindrical and we have polar. In this video, I want to show you how to find the volume of the sphere by using cylindrical one. Okay, so what, the, what does it mean that I want to use cylindrical coordinates? The first thing, uh, I need to express my function in terms of cylindrical coordinates, but this function is one, so this function is unchanged. But dv, if I have a cylindrical coordinates, I need to expand, expand my dv in the following form as r r cosine, no, no, r dr d theta d phi. Where I'm going to remind, remind you what is r, theta, and phi. So you will think about 3D coordinates x, y, z. Then your r it's going to be like this vector. Your theta is angles that makes with positive x-axis and your, not phi, sorry, this is an actual dz. And dz is how far you, you want to bring this vector. So the idea is basically that every point in the space can be described by a vector which you can rotate by an angle theta and which you can move up by z. This is the idea of the uh, cylindrical coordinates. Yes, so after this, I want to expand this dv, so I will get one, 1 times r dr d theta and dz. Okay, so we're almost done. The only thing that we need to do, we need to figure out our bounds for triple integral. And we're going to figure out our bounds by looking at this picture. So first thing, the most easiest bound to figure out is going to be my z. z tells me uh, what is number bounds in my z direction? But since this is a unit sphere, then my bounds, uh, upper bound is going to be positive one, and lower bound is going to be negative one. That's why my uh, let me try to use another color. That's my my z bound is going to be from minus one to one. Okay. The next bounds they need to figure out my theta, but theta is also easy because. But what angle do you need to dis, uh, rotate uh, my vector if you want to describe the whole sphere? And you can see from here, you will need to rotate from 0 to 2 pi. So that's why my theta changes from 0 to 2 pi. But the last one is a little bit tricky. The last one, I need to find the bounds for my r. So this, this bounds. But this bounds are tricky. Why? Because you can see if I will stay in xy plane that my r maximum bound is going to be equals to 1. But if I'm going to move uh, up by z equals 1, then my upper bound for radius is going to be 0. So you can see that my radius is going to depend of my height by what I'm going to move on z. But for sure, what can I tell? I can tell that my lower bound is going to be zero. And let's find upper bound. 
So if I want to find the upper bound, I'm, I want to express the length of this vector in terms of z. In terms of z. Okay, so what should I do? Uh, let's take a look at this picture. And what picture do you have? I have, this is my sphere. This is my desired radius, upper bound. And this is my z. So what can I have here? Here I have that I know this uh, radius is 1. So what can I do? I can draw and this uh, like arrow vector. And what uh, else do I know about this? I know the length of this vector is also 1 because it's uh, describing the same like circle. Like, these two vectors are the same. And from here I can see that uh, since, this right, since this angle is the right angle, then I have z squared plus r squared equals to 1 by Pythagorean theorem. And from here I can solve my r. So my r is equals plus minus square root of 1 minus z squared. But since the distance cannot be negative, I want to choose my r to be equal uh, positive square root of 1 minus z squared. And this is my desired r. So let's come back to this one. So my desired r is 1 minus uh, z squared, square root of 1 minus z squared. Okay. So we are done with step number 2, so we have our integral. So for step number 3, what we want to do, we want just to evaluate this integral. So the first thing that I can see in this integral that my function and my bounds, it doesn't depend on theta. So by Fermi's theorem, I can split this double integral into product of, uh, oh sorry, this triple integral into product of, of double integral and single integral. And I will get in this case for my theta that uh, this factor 2 pi. And what I'm going to left with, I'm going to left with the integral minus 1 positive 1, integral from 0 square root of 1 minus d squared. Uh, r dr dz. Yes. And then what I'm doing next, I just need to evaluate this integral. So what I will get? Uh, here I will just have the simple antiderivative. So I have from minus 1 to 1. Then I have r squared over 2. And my bounds from 0 to 1 minus d squared. And this is all dz. After this, I can see that if I will plug it in my bounds, then the following integral is going to be equal to 2 pi uh, integral from minus 1 to 1. And here I will have 1 minus z squared over 2. And 0 will can uh, cancel, and here I will have dz. Okay, so here I can see that 2 will cancel. So let's continue computing our integral. So first one, I will get the integral of pi uh, from minus 1 to 1 of uh, dz minus uh, pi integral from minus 1 to 1 uh, z squared dz. Yes. Then the first integral is trivially is going to be just equals to 2 pi. And my second integral is going to be equals to minus pi uh, times z cubed, z cubed over 3. Yes, yeah, z cubed over 3. So this equals to, uh, and here I need to set like my limits from minus 1 to 1. Okay, and from here what I will get, I will get that my desired uh, integral equals to minus pi. And here we'll have 1 minus minus 1, so it's going to be plus 1. So we'll have times 2 over 3. And after I'm going to relate this, I'll multiply 2 pi uh, top by 3, so we'll have 6 pi over 3. I will subtract, so we'll get 4 pi over 3. Yes, 4 pi over 3. And this, as you can see, is actually the answer for this problem. So it's equals to 4 pi over 3 because we know we all know that the volume of the sphere is equals to 4 over 3 
phi r q. And since we have a unit sphere, r equals to 1, then we have for pi over 3. Okay, guys, uh, thank you for watching this video. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. If you're not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. And bye-bye.